Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Fans of Corey believe they know just how Ken Barlow will defeat the Institute and get his handsome 40,000 pounds back. Earlier this year, the street was all a flutter when the mysterious self-improvement group known as the Institute appeared on the scene. Lean Battersby, led by the charming Rowan Cumliffe, fell under its spell fast, much to the dismay of her fianke Nick Tilsley and her sister Toya Habib, Georgia Taylor, who had been concerned about her involvement. Nick and Toya were shocked to learn that Amy Barlow, Al Mulvaney, too, had become entangled in the cult's web. In addition to Lean, with his smooth persuasion, Rowan was able to convince Amy to think about putting her 40,000 pounds inheritance into their bank account. Amy was seen this week asking with her late grandmother, Gerder's grandfather, Ken, William Rochi, to unlock the money left for her. Ken was hesitant at first, but came around to the concept in the end. But after Amy was forced to escape in distress after suffering a horrific malware session at the hands of the cult, the story became more complicated. The Express says, Ken dropped the bombshell that he'd already sent the cash, even though she was having second thoughts about the transaction. To make matters worse, Amy was informed that recovering the money would be extremely difficult because it had already found its way into the accounts of the Institute's parent business. After Amy voluntarily turned over the money, Corey Steve McDonald, played by Simon Gregson, and Tracy, Kate Ford, became enraged when the police informed them there wasn't a case. Currently, speculation among Corey viewers is rife that Ken Barlow has a plot twist and is ready to unseat Rowan and the Institute. Online chatter has gone wild as perceptive fans recount how Ken won a 50,000 pounds premium bond not too long ago, and viewers are certain that he paid Amy's bail and sent the money to the Institute using those prizes rather than Dider's legacy, one perceptive Facebook user surmised. Since that phone call, Ken's premium bond win has not been discussed, I believe Ken made the decision to utilize his earnings to fund the Institute because he didn't want Amy's Stider inheritance to be at jeopardy, despite seeing how happy Amy was. Maybe? Someone else chimed in, remarking, Excellent. I believe you might be correct. Another person said, Excellent call. Ken certainly seems to be acting that way as well. Another admirer fueled the rumors by saying, Ooh, Never thought of that. Due to a large sponsorship contract that the soap opera signed, Coronation Street will undergo a huge makeover on the set. The co-op store, which had been a mainstay on Victoria Street for six years, has disappeared from Witherfield, according to our aerial images. Sainsbury's and Argos will replace the present supermarket segment on the ITV soap opera thanks to a new advertising deal. Work is currently being done on the Salford set, where the old co-op has been replaced with a boarded-up shop front. A coming soon notice is displayed alongside the brands of Argos and Sainsbury's on posters that cover the boards. It is anticipated that these changes will be apparent on the soap starting in July. The retail giant Sainsbury subsidiary Argos first signed a sponsorship deal with the program in 2021. Nevertheless, it was subsequently revealed that this partnership has been extended until 2026. And as part of the agreement, a Sainsbury's and Argo storefront would show on screen. Weatherfield will get additional branding components as a result of this hefty arrangement, and residents can probably expect to see them carrying their bag for life when they go grocery shopping. Coronation Street is one of the country's most iconic TV shows, which our customers know and love so continuing our sponsorship made perfect sense, said Laura Boothby, Sainsbury's head of promotions, upon finalizing the agreement. We hope the new store brings familiarness and fun to viewers watching from home and perhaps see Ken Barlow popping in to click and collect a new kettle. 
Director of Commercial Sales and Partnerships at ITV, Mark Trinder, continued saying, We are proud and excited to be continuing and expanding the relationship between two of the nation's most loved and recognized brands. Fans who were worried that Andy Wyman may be leaving Coronation Street have been comforted. Before securing his Kirk Sutherland role in 2000, the 43-year-old actor starred as Darren in the BBC sitcom The Royal Family, which brought him into millions of people's living rooms at tea time. Introducing Kirk as the brother of well-known character Maria Connor, Samia Longshamban, Andy filled the role left by an uncredited walk-on actor who made an appearance earlier in the year when Tyrone Dobbs, Alan Halsall, her former boyfriend, became suspicious that she was seeing someone else. Before deciding to settle down with Gobby Knicker stitcher Beth Tinker, Lisa George, 11 years ago, we watched him develop a connection with Fizz Brown, Jenny Calpine, and forge a tender brotherly tie with her brother Chesney, Sam Aston, during the course of the 2000s. After all, in 2015, the couple tied the knot in a lavish 80s-themed wedding where they donned Adam Ant and Madonna costumes. However, it soon became apparent that she was a bigamist. She will be compelled to end her Weatherfield life in the upcoming scenes after being blackmailed by Kit Green, Jacob Roberts. Fans are aware that Beth got into trouble with Vint Copper Kit after she recorded him conspiring with a guy for whom she had been producing fake t-shirts. Lisa stated in an interview with This Morning that her exit moments will be shown in today's show. Following the release of a video in which he sang Kings of Leon's Sex on Fire at a local festival, fans of the soap opera are now concerned that Andy may follow suit. As soon as his fans saw that he was leaving Corey to pursue a music career, they jumped into the comments area. Andy quickly responded, writing, Absolutely not Corey, my number one, but enjoying singing the odd song here and there. You little always say KSTR was written by co-star Tony Motsley, who portrays funeral director George Shuttleworth. I adore it. I love this, exclaimed Jacqueline Jossa, an EastEnders actor who plays Lauren Branning. Incredible. Next week, Mason Radcliffe will be falsely accused of a fresh crime on Coronation Street, and the adolescent will still be struggling when he returns to the cobblestone streets. Mason has been working at Speed Doll in an attempt to change his life after being released from a young offender's center last month. Mason has attempted to tighten his belt and stay out of trouble as he knew that any more misbehavior could result in his being sent back to the center. However, he did take a chance by threatening Dylan after the latter testified in his trial. In the scenes that run next week, the two make eye contact while in the cafe and Dylan starts to feel uneasy upon learning that Mason intends to rent a house in the neighborhood. Mason was speaking with Betsy, who tries to persuade him to return to her empty home. Later in the week, though, the developing connection comes to an abrupt end as Betsy becomes weary of Mason's unwillingness to hang together and accuses him of being uncommittal. Later on, though, when he witnesses Betsy talking to Dylan, Despite Dylan's insistence that they are simply friends, he becomes envious. Mason is unaffected as Betsy takes it a step further and gives him a kiss, but she does it just to make Mason jealous. After that, she goes to Speed Doll to tell him that she wanted him to notice, but he says he doesn't want to pursue her anymore. Betsy, hurt, takes a customer's pocketbook and stuffs it into Mason's jacket. The client informs Yasmin and Stu of their displeasure as soon as they realize their pocketbook has disappeared. Mason realizes that Betsy has set him up as soon as he feels the pocketbook in his jacket. Will he be able to return the stolen goods and prove his innocence at the same time? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.